what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna go get my autograph book. We'll be right back. It's too nice to stay indoors. You boys should go play outside. And you should stop- You should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? <laughs> okay. Well, we turned over that. Pretty sure we have our scan. So, I guess we need to do the recording contract. Hmm. 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 I just don't know how to do that. Oh, wait. I think I know how I have to go through the getting the recording contract. I've got to go beat peepers. But I'm gonna have to screw him over in the process, so... Hey, can I... I let me cook something. Will you stack? Hmm. Let's see. I know I have to cook something. How do I do that? Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, <laughs> a cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The oh, show Lord. where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just go with it. Oh, um, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you. You can't even. The audience. You can't oh, even, you can barely see that! Worshipful fans. <laughs> Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. Max! We've got some furious cooking to do, so <laughs> let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Uh... That would be fun! That, but... Hmm... Okay, I definitely know it wasn't something that crazy. Who the freak would even eat that? I don't think a casserole would work. Let's go with cake. Cake's Today good. we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the cooking to me and the eating to you. Oh, Lord, what to put in? <laughs> this will be funny. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. These are some interesting things, so let's go with lard. Let's on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Oh, uh, let's see, we put in some lard. Um mink oil. Gosh, of pink mink oil is a must. Nothing says I last ate real food in the 80s like the inclusion of something pink. Okay, I'm wondering what all these things are gonna say, so. Best full of squid tentacles. Ooh, that's my favorite western. Let's just add Make everything. Sure of wombat secretions. Make sure they're lightly damp to the touch. The wombats, not the secretions. <laughs> Let's just add everything. Handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Some sulfuric acid. Some sulfuric acid sparingly. It can easily overwhelm the other ingredients. And your taste buds, and your <laughs> Of course, you're going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. No more than a dash of uranium pellets. They also go great in Chex Mix. Oh, Lord. Some tweed. Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking, it also makes a great toupee. Can we say enough about roofing tile shards? Obviously we can. Uh, let's go with this. You'll want to crush up some dried dingo kidneys. 
Come on, bachelors. You know you have them. Look under the sofa cushions. Of course, asbestos. who can forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. Let's see, monk paste. Any meal has to include some of the standards, like monk paste. Don't forget that saying: monk paste for the taste, pope best for the zest. <laughs> Straight up Every MSG. Chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. <laughs> if you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Make sure to include red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. All right, we put in everything, so let's cook it. <laughs> now, can we boil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking showtime, one gorgeous, delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Oof. Ugh, okay. Okay, we're done here, right? <laughs> and there's I have the cake that will probably kill us all. Let's see. Hmm. All right. So I, from, if I remember right, from what Myra said, I need the scandal thing. I know I need the I cake for something in order to get the recording contract. I remember that. So, eh, I guess I may as well go get this. Hmm. Well, let's ask around. Well, well. Peepers, you underdeveloped former non-psychotherapist you. What a treat to run across you again. I'm not sure if I ever properly thanked you for hitting me over the head recently. Repeatedly. No gratitude necessary. Just doing our jobs. Sure. I'd love that job. How do you manage to hit those eardrum scarring high notes? If you're implying that I use any artificial vocal enhancements, I don't. What you hear is pure peepers. That's almost exactly what I would have said. Really, is there any trick to hitting the high notes like you do? Look, I told you, I don't use any artificial vocal enhancement, and I resent the implication. I have a gift, that's all. I was actually just trying to be nice, but okay. Your lyrics have an intriguingly vapid quality. Did you write them yourself? Of course! Any similarity to lyrics from other wildly popular songs is meant as homage, not theft. So that describes the vast majority of music in existence. I'm kind of cute want to hit this, but let's try I'll not to piss him off. It is you're doing over here. Good luck! <sighs> let's see how these boys are doing. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head... Specs, get over it! Our careers have taken an upswing. Clearly. Hey, being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm That's better than already. nothing. What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more? Ask the director. We judges don't have to concern ourselves with operational detail. Hmm. Tell me about the criteria you use in judging a singing contest such as this one. I'm a stickler for technical proficiency. Usually I look for a high note. Someone who can hit a really high note always impresses me. I see. Mm-hmm. If you'll excuse me, I've got some lines to color outside of. It's your life. Eh, at least he seems somewhat chill. Wizard! What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by nope. color? Ooh, craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuck with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. 
I think the craft services crew all went in to watch the Myra show, like everybody else. All we got was a basket of tomatoes. Ugh. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. <clears throat> Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. Hmm. Let's see what he Tell does. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity. I'm voting for Peepers no matter what. He's my brother. The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add. I said I was sorry. Good lord. <laughs> Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, right. I need to give him the thing, but I think I need to make him sick, so... Oh, okay. I think I got an idea. Bosco's got ketchup. <laughs> I love the fact that this game means I can be as evil as I want to be. <laughs> okay. Now, I know I need to take the picture to Sybil first. It, you know what? Let's get the cake taken care of. Oh, wait. Wait. If I want to get the magazine, I'm going to have to do that. So let's actually go to Sybil instead. Criminy, learn how to run! Seriously, if someone knows how to trigger a running animation in this, let me know. I still can't figure it out to save my life. <sighs> I really do love Sybil's area. Hey, guys. So, you're looking for a cover photo of Little Green Men canoodling, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. It is the Alien Love Triangle Times, after all. Got it. Let's <laughs> go with this. How about a quick analysis, for old times' sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Uh... Three. You're selectively audio-averse. I don't like the sound of that. Well, that works. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Uh-huh, that makes no sense. Okay, so where did I put that picture? Here you go. Sybil, enjoy. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial uh, yeah, 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 honey, come evidence. on, just come on. Sybil, that photo is a hoax. Exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Wait, did you not have any story? Available at newsstands now. Ugh, Sybil. <laughs> Max, let me ask you something. Sam, for the last time, it's I before E, except after sustained gunfire. <laughs> Are you getting taller, little buddy? Maybe. I've been doing ear exercises. Huh. Never mind. I don't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I like the planner. <laughs> the alien head planner. That's cool. <laughs> she put little tickly boppers on the fox. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Come on. All right. Let's go get our scandal and uh, we'll worry about that recording car because I know I need to get some ketchup on there and I need that voice modulator so Sammy can hit some high notes. All right. Freeze. We're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Aren't we already? <laughs> Let's go in here. Uh, let see. <laughs> I wonder if you Bliss is gonna have questions about this picture. <laughs> it's seven 
Max. I saw you on the telly. How do you watch TV from in there? I've got monitors you don't even know about. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure most of them got hacked by, uh... Brady Culture last go-round. All right, you. Hello, sir. What ho, old bees? So... I'm gonna buy. Let's buy. You wanna buy something? Quite so. Voice much later. We come bearing one million American dollars. Now hand over the voice modulator. Blimey! Food stamps! I suppose I must accept them. Oh, government conspiracy. How are food stamps it's a government a one, conspiracy? Complete Here then is your chemical-based voice modulator. This is a helium balloon strapped to an inhaler. But it works, trust me, trust me. Holy chipmunk, Ari is warbling out of a souped-up 78-speed turntable. It works. Holy crap! Thanks, <laughs> chipmunk ho! <laughs> I'm hear some the coffee machine. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Well, uh, that explains why you like you bliss, doesn't it? Microwave. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Aww. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. I do wonder what the purple stuff is. Okay, so let's put the cake with the condiments. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Ugh. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that way. <laughs> it's funny watching him do that in the car. Hey, say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Cat. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So I already turned over my clip. Uh, game show questions, I don't know what I need those for. So shaving cream, the love triangle times, the voice modulator, and the ketchup cake. Yay! Alright. Uh. <sighs> Let's see here now. All right, so I wish my dog would stop having doggy dreams. Hmm. You know, I wonder if there's anything new on the office answering machine. Let's take a quick pop in, shall we? I don't know, maybe call somebody and annoy them. Nope, that's still here. <laughs> oh well, let's go through. Hey Sam, it's me again. I found a way to solve all three of my problems at once. But I'm going to be needing bail. <laughs> I can't help it, I love that. Hello, is this the president? It is? Really? Well, thanks, that's all I wanted to know. Ah, oh, Sam, you're a hoot. I know it'll happen if I open that, so let's go. All right. Am I wasting a little time? Yes. Am I having fun? Also, yes. All right, so come on, Max. Max, get back here. Max. Where are we going, Sam? Where the TV heck was he going? Goody! Get in the car. Uh, alrighty then. So. <clears throat> ah, stop it. <sighs> Judge looks good on you, Max. Hush, Ace. I hope it comes with lunch. Seems like a pretty cushy job you've got there. 
I hope somebody else comes to sing soon. I've got scathing insults and bombast that are itching to claw their way out of my throat. How is that any different from normal? True. It'll be on TV! <laughs> Don't let your passion for overzealous criticism get in the way of our primary goal here, little pal. I already forgot what that is. Myra Stump holding the audience hostage? Oh, right. Sometimes my sponge is a little leaky. Indeed. I know all too well. Yep. All right. I think I'll poke around and look for clues, or craft services crawlers, or both. How about all of Crawlers. I want six. I want crawlers now. Okay. Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm glad somebody remembered. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. Alright, so judging. I thought by Catch saying happy birthday to him, I'd automatically give him this cake that's basically poison, but... I guess I'll just have to do this by hand. Happy birthday. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Cake! That red frosty looks tasty. Oh! I'm getting sick just thinking about this. Boy, that was really... Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, uh, time out for number two! <laughs> Be going to see Myra. Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! Okie dokie. So I know to impress Specs here, I have to be able to sing with a hit a high note. So. Testing. One, two, right. three. All right. Hey, can I try my pipes out on this thing? Go right ahead. Frankly, we can use all the contestants we can muster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello. I'd like to do a little song I call... Uh... Busted down hound dog blues. <laughs> May the starfish justice not immune. Uh, let's go with this. She's at brunch today with some baboon. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You got my vote. Hey! Boy, how am I gonna be good with those guys? All the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Uh, what? Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Uh, I'm confused. What are they going to be doing at Rushmore? I'm concerned. Okay. Let me make sure. I needed Scandal. Got it. Recording contract. Got it. All right. Turned her in the con the clip. So let's go to see what we can do about getting out of this. Why do you look like he was about to walk in the wall? 
Oh, that's still smoking. I mean, you know. And Hugh Bliss is still, like, right there. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? Ouch! You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Don't be alarmed, but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized uh. or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all a tree. Okay. Remind me what your requirements are for guests on your show? Of course, dear. I'll need to see your recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a juicy scandal. What if we have our own video game? Video games? Ugh, those things will ruin your eyes. They're awful. <laughs> we do have a recording contract. In Bottom Records, take a look. You should have us on as guests. I like my guests to be celebrities audiences are talking about. Have you been embroiled in any juicy scandals lately? Our landlady thinks I'm the one who broke the dryer in the basement. You probably that, did, Max. The media is talking about you. And don't forget to wash behind your ears first. Here. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? You'll have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only so I can talk about America's lamentably endless fascination with depravity. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking, and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Gosh, Max. Celebrity is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I eat video games. I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal <laughs> hell just in case. <laughs> All right. Everyone, Bessie Bobine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Summits, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys. Uh, replacement stars, but sure. Judge of TV's embarrassing idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Matt. Hi. We're here to save you, people. Hold the hayride, little pal. That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankle. <laughs> Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Hold it! My guests sit at that end. But that bear has got you. Sit. We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. Obey Why mommy. Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. You're gonna have to play along. Sam and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. Uh... Uh, oh, wait, I got an idea. I think I got an idea. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'd like to sing a song from my upcoming album, Feathers and Furious Scribbling. I'm almost certain the audience might probably enjoy that. Howling at that drippy old honk She's at brunch today with some baboon. And so I wrote this extremely catchy tune. Thank you, Sam, for putting the numb back in musical number. What a wonderful way to remind our audience that you don't have to be talented to be famous. 
and a perfect segue into my latest tirade about the lamentable state of modern popular music. I mean, blah, 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 yak, 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 yak bloody, 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 yakety, yak, 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 yak. <gasps> Blah, 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 yak, 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 bloody, 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 yakety, yak.